bicarbonate. This is the sodium hydrogen bicarbonate. And this is the pipe. This is the pipe. Or we can say with the help of this, we can take few drops of HCl. Few drops of HCl. HCl. And you can see that the bubbles will evolve. They will liberate. And this indicates that a reaction has occurred along with the evolution or liberation of carbon dioxide. Right see here. See the bubbles. You, you can see that the one. bubbles are they are evolving that the bubbles are evolving. evolving and you can see that the carbon dioxide that the carbon dioxide evolved and this is the neutralization reaction okay. however along heat you feel certain amount of heat this is because along with this carbon dioxide evolution heat is also produced and this reaction is called exothermic reaction, reaction. and now this is the salt this is the salt Salt has formed, so it indicates it produces no effect. It has no effect on either of the litmus, on either of the litmus. This was all about this neutralization process. Okay. Yes, sir. We are human beings. Along with we people, large number of animals are residing on the earth. These animals. And we, we are interdependent with each other. We are interlinked with each other by a chain called food chain. By a food chain called food, food chain. chain. Food chain actually means that it is actually a carrier of transfer of energy from one level to another level. One eats another, and that one is eaten by another. Mm -hmm. And this way, this chain is completed. Here, we are going to know about food web. Food yeah. and this food web is related to the ecosystem that is residing, that is present in forest. So this is food web in forest ecosystem. Food web is forest ecosystem. Yeah. First, we should know that what is food web. Food web is nothing but a group of interrelated food chains in a particular common food web. Food web, yeah. you know. This food web is interrelated food chains. When so many food chains are, they are interrelated with each other. When they are interconnected with each other, at that time, those interconnected food chains make food web. Food yeah. web. And you see, this is the line. This line is the top carnival. This line actually eats this heron. And this heron feeds on large fishes. This large fish or large fish, they eat or their victim is water insects. Water insects. insects. You know that these water insects, they are aquatic, so they are residing inside water. They fed on water plants. Water plants. Yes. In other words, we can say here, actually the energy is transferred or food is transferred from water plants to the lime. To the lime. Yes. This is one food. Change. This is one food chain. Another food chain is like this. This is the grass and vegetable. Grass and vegetable are eaten by sheep and deer. Sheep and deer. Yeah. Yeah. You know that deer and sheep, they are what they are called? Sheep and deer. Those who eat plants are called herbivores. herbivores. These are herbivores. herbivores. These are herbivores. This herbivore sheep or deer, it is feed or it is eaten. It's eaten by wolf. This wolf is a carnivore. This wolf is a carnivore. Ultimately, this wolf it is eaten by lion. It is eaten by lion. This is another food chain. This is another food, food chain. chain. You know that this food chain and this food chain they are interconnected at this point. This is the common top carnivore. This carnivore it is present. It transfers energy in this way. Yeah. It gets energy from grass in this way, or it can get its energy or food through this food Jeez. chain. This through this food Jeez. chain. Another food chain is this. This is the rabbit. This rabbit, you know, that this feeds on grass and vegetables. And this rabbit is either eaten by cat or it is fed by dog. It's fed by dog. dog. However, dog is killed by lion. We can say that this dog is eaten by lion. And you can say this cat. This, this is here, this, this is the food chain and this one is also the food chain and these food chains have a common animal here rabbit. So these all food chains like this one, this is the 
small bird it feeds on this very plant small plant herb and this small insect they feed on this this small insect is, is further fed or it is further eaten by frog as well as small birds this small bird is eaten by cat or by snake and this that snake is eaten by owl <coughs> or we can say this frog is eaten by e eagle or this frog is eaten by snake so these food either this food chain or this food chain or this food chain or this they are at some point they are interconnected they are crisscrossed they are they are they are just having common animals in them that is why uh, we say that a food web is an interconnected interconnected food chains and in this way the energy is transferred from producers to the top carnivores to the car or ultimately this corner carnivore is decomposed by decomposers and in this way a nutrient cycle or a food cycle is completed food cycle is completed, completed. this is this, it means this also defects this food web also defects that the animals that are present or that are present on the earth they are interconnected they are interdependent with each other and they are transferring energy among themselves by transferring food between them between yeah, them yeah. this was all about food, food thank you